Kelly, I'll start with you first. Um, you've been slowly venturing into more and more film and television over the years, from the Merry Little Christmas films to films like Bad Hair, Fantasy Football, so on and so forth. But this is such a big role for you because not only you're, are you starring in this film, but you're producing as well. How do you think this film and your role, both in front of the camera and behind the camera, is indicative of the space that you're trying to create for yourself within the film and TV world? Oh my goodness. Um, one, this is a space in which I'm still a student. I think, well, in music, I'm still a student. I think that you're still a student in the things that you're passionate about, you love, you wanna be better at, you wanna grow with. And it's, it's definitely a space where I am uncomfortable, to be honest, you know what I mean? And to me, that's actually the joy part, the joy, the joy I feel in it too, because it's new, it's unfamiliar territory, it's finding a groove in it. And I think that that's where you really start to flex and like grow your muscle and, and your strength in it. And that's what I wanna do. I love the film and TV space. I always have, a, I've always admired it. I've always admired actors and the fact that they are telling all these different stories and producing as well. And everything that goes on screen, how it looks and how it tells a story within the story. It's just so many ways to be creative as well, not just music. And this is another way to express creativity. And that's where I am right now, just extremely creative. Yes, yes. And Tremonte, for you, um, I initially thought, I was I thought this was your first Tyler Perry project, but then I totally forgot that you were in um, the early seasons of If Loving You Was Wrong on OWN. I totally forgot about that. But what was it like working again with Tyler Perry and you know, kind of bringing this character to life from this script that he created? Yeah, it was great. Uh, it felt very comfortable. Honestly, uh, jumping on a set with Tyler feels like home more than anything. It gives you the opportunity to really be creative, you know, do the things that you feel in the moment, which is, uh, I think, the best experience you can have on a set. Yes, 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 absolutely. And what can you both, without giving, I guess, no spoilers, of course, but what can you tease about the dynamics between uh, Mia and Zaya? Because I think you can, I definitely can, can say that, like, it's safe to say everything is not what it seems. Mm -hmm. uh, I can say that multiple times about this film. But how would you tease kind of like the arc that they go through in this film without, of course, you know, talking about too much about it? Got you. I got you. She, she's like, you go first. She's like, you, you take this. <laughs> yeah, I said, I guess uh, the best way I can put it, I said it was something along the lines of one top individual sharing space with another top individual and just the natural, I guess, effects that would happen in that situation happen. And uh, it's a fun, thrilling, sensual, sexy journey that you get to enjoy along the way. Mm -hmm. And Kelly, I'm interested, do you have, do you, I feel like you had to low key kind of flex um, some athletic ability just a little bit, because your character do a lot of running. I was. <laughs> but oh. but you could see, like, she, I, I was like, come on, Mia, let's go. But it, it, it was, I was like, okay, okay. What was it like doing some of those thrilling, the thrilling aspects of this movie? I, I was definitely tired after those days. <laughs> um, I'm just remembering the crane and the truck as I'm running in that one space. Um, and how exhausting that was, because we did that five to seven times. You're talking about the nice scene right now. Yes, running down like the center of the street. I was like, <laughs> I kept with it though. It was fine. It looked good. But it looked great. And there was one point like, I had to pace myself and the camera's pace. And it was like, at first I was running faster than the camera, then the, uh, camera was running faster than me, then it was us finding the rhythm so that we can catch that cadence of the, even the run, you know what I mean? But all of that was so important and it was, it turned out really dope. Hi, I'm Enrico. how are you doing today? What's up, man? I'm a big fan of Shadow Night, man. Y'all have always shown love, man. I appreciate it. 
Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. We, we try as hard as we can. You know, sometimes our stories can get buried in like the mainstream publications. We try to uplift Black creatives as much as we can. So thank you, that really means a lot. But I'm so excited to chat with you about this film. I know that this is um, the latest chapter and like you have a long running collaborative collaboration with um, Tyler Perry dating all the way back to um, 2009 with Medea yep. Goes to Yale. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, you're gonna appear in one of his upcoming um, prom video films yep. as well with um, Kat Graham and Tyler Lepley and a lot of other great people. Um, what's your favorite part about working with Tyler Perry um, and the fact that you all, you're still appearing in his projects so many years later? Yeah, um, you know, I've just seen a tremendous amount of growth just in him as a filmmaker and as a director. Um, you know, he's, um, it's been great. I think about my experience with with My Dear Goes to Jail and it was great, man. I was so happy to be working with him uh, and I had a great time. And I look at doing Mia Copa and then uh, the other one that we, we did right after Mia Copa. Um, mm -hmm. And it's just been great, you know. Um, I think a lot of it too is he trusts me as an actor, which is really great, you know, coming from him. Uh, all the movies he's made, all the wonderful actors that he's worked with, it, it, it felt good to know that he kind of brought me in, let me do my thing. You know, very minimal notes to the point. Sometimes I was kind of like, man, I hope I'm doing okay. And somebody said, oh, you know, if you weren't doing okay, you'd know. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm gonna just chill. But um, no, it's it's um, it's just been it's been great. And I really, really uh, love working. His process is one that seldom wears you out. You know, he's the kind of director like he knows when he has it, he's got it, and we can move on. Whereas he doesn't kind of continue to do the same thing and kind of inundate you with all of these different camera angles. He knows what he wants. He's a very visual filmmaker. He gets what he wants. He moves on. So you leave set, you know, you know, you got energy to go work out. You got energy to go do stuff. You know, he really beats up his cast, you know, because he's he's literally getting in, getting in and getting out. Yes, yes. And in this film, you play Jimmy, who is a private investigator who was yeah who's working with Mia, but they also, not only do they have this professional relationship, they also have like a close personal relationship as well. Yeah. Um, how would you describe um, their dynamic in this film? Yeah, I think it's like family, you know? I think it was one of those things I had to wrap my head around too, because I think uh, there's a natural tendency in some of those scenes, especially with someone like a Kelly Rowland, where you want to kind of kind of go this way. You gotta go, no, 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 no. You guys are, you know, this your cousin. Think about her as your cousin. <laughs> so I really did. I really thought of her as a sister. I think Jimmy says it in the in the, in the movie. You know, this is you're like a sister to me. And so mm -hmm. uh, I love. I have friends, man, from from eighth grade that we've just been friends. You know, females that I've just been friends with. I've been at their weddings. They was at my wedding. Um, and so it happens, you know, I just think a lot of times in movies and television, you know, it's not a light that gets shown on those types of just strictly platonic relationships. But uh, but no, it was it was definitely something I wanted to be conscious of in the filming that these guys are friends. She's married. I think I don't, I don't know if Jimmy was married, but he definitely knew like this is family and we ain't gonna mess with family. Yes, yes. Well, thank you so, so much for chatting with me. Every time I speak to a cast member from one of my favorite shows of all time, Survivor's Remorse, I have to tell them how much I love that show and I still rewatch <laughs> it to this day. It needs Dude. all the powers. Yeah. But, um, I have to tell I everyone, it, whether it's Jesse or Tashina or anyone, I have to tell everyone how great that show is. I probably watched the beginning of that pilot maybe like three times, like once a quarter, like three times a year. Just the mm -hmm. opening, the... Uh -huh. uh, one of my favorite shows. Thank you. Yes, of course, of course. So thank you for chatting with me and I can't wait for more people to see this movie. Absolutely, man. Have a good one. Have a good one.